in just the past 50 years, it took 400,000 engineers, okay, to calculate the necessary mathematics to put a person on the moon. And it took about eight years to get us there, all right? Eight years of uh, research, of study, of computation. And today, that, that simulated trajectory uh, and the calculations required for it can be done on your iPhone in a matter of five minutes. You can download, a, download an app and you can do it yourself. Something that took 400,000 engineers. So how are we using modern day technology to its fullest potential? Well, we're really not. Because if we have that potential in the palm of our hands, are we using it to solve just the problems of checking our text messages? Or are we using it to solve our business problems? What I would argue is not just in your own experience, but amongst the, the uh, um, regions which you're working in, we've really become information processors. We're over-dependent on this technology. What have we lost during this time? Well, we lost, we've lost our creativity, possibly, maybe our ability to critically think because we are becoming more of a slave to our devices. And of course, that makes us less disruptive. So digital singularity is really the point where technological omnipresence meets the human experience and where they converge. And what that means is, is that today with technology all around us, how is it impacting our human experience? I would argue, at least in the last five years, it hasn't been positive. And the question of what we're going to do with this tremendous compute power, with this uh, tremendous digital capability, is still yet to be seen. The power of technology to drive what we call sustainable development or to solve the grand challenges cannot be understated. Uh, when we look at issues like climate change, uh, poverty reduction, education, even, even improving the lives of our, our own children, technology is playing a terrific role. So the concept is simple, okay? If I tell you that I want you to increase productivity by 10%, what do you do? You reduce cost, you try to generate more income, and you get your 10%. But if I tell you you have to do 100 times that productivity, now you have to rethink your entire organization, and you have to think about your programs and whether we're even doing them correctly. You want to hire young people again, very young people that don't have a predisposition on how to make that 10%, right? We actually want them to break traditional thinking. <clears throat> how do we get to that 10x thinking? Well, we're going to identify new customers and value chains, transformation of core business processes, anticipation and preparation for new competition, and driving a culture of innovation. What does all this mean? Well, I can tell you what it means for most businesses today. It means survival or die. 